These are so-called mini agents that Goose can spin up to handle parts of a bigger job. I like building small tools and I need an assistant that fits my workflow. Not just another chat box and a browser. I want something that runs locally, plugs into my editor and CI and can talk to different models and tools without locking me in. And I need something that is affordable. That is why I'm testing Goose, an open source AI coding assistant from Block Inc. This tool runs on desktop and CLI. Goose uses a multi-model approach and connects to tools via MCP servers. And we're going to test it today. In this video, I'll set up Goose from scratch, wire it, connect a couple of models and try to build something using Goose. You can follow along. The link is in the description. You can try this tool for free. So get ready. Let's do it. Let's dive. Deep. I'm installing Goose on my computer, Goose desktop. Right away I can say that this tool looks clean and minimalist, but the first thing that stands out from other AI coding tools and platforms is Goose's unique terminology. Here we have Goose recipes, which in plain English means workflows. On the home page, you can switch the model. By default, it's clawed for Sonnet. You can pick and configure any of the listed models or add custom providers. Let's pick our models and go back. I'm asking Goose what it can help me with. It shared some of the popular requests. Look, develop a Tamagotchi game that lives on my computer and follows a pixelated styling. I have a sense of nostalgia here. But before I begin creating a Tamagotchi game, let me first show you a couple of things here. Let's click on configure Goose hints. So Goose hints is basically a file with information that I want Goose to know and keep in mind every time I work on a project. For example, example, I can let it know specific libraries I want it to use and my project structure. In my case, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm only going to include basic information in the Goose Hints file, but you get the concept. Let's click on extensions and activate all four additional extensions and time to create Tamagotchi game. I pick GPT-5 nano model and this is my prompt. Develop a Tamagotchi game that lives in my computer and follows a pixelated styling. I can see the code. Let me provide Goose with additional information. Increase number of pixels to 32 by 32 pixel art. Make it baby sharks, boy, girl, etc. Name it shark a gochi i provided additional information to goose and it is working on the tamagotchi game and the game is ready you can see it is a basic web game that is vague extremely vague resembling the old tamagotchi i'm starting a new session and i want to test one feature called sub agents on goose it's possible to run tasks in parallel as opposed to a single sequence for example you can work on a single app and run two sub agents one for back end and one for front end simultaneously these are so-called mini agents that goose can spin up to handle parts of a bigger job let's test it this is my prompt, execute the following tasks simultaneously, create the front end for a basic weather app, create the back end, obtain a free weather API key and store it in the back end. The agent is working now, executing both tasks simultaneously. It wants me to provide the API key, but it's already running the file creation in parallel. I just provided the agent with the API key and let's see how it completes the task. The task is completed and I asked Goose to explain how it ran subtasks in parallel. It used the parallel execution wrapper to fire multiple tool calls at the same time. And here is the app. This is what it looks like. It's working and it's time for me to summarize everything I have observed. 
Okay, about Goose. It is a practical AI coding assistant that fits real workflows. It runs on desktop and CLI, talks to multiple models, and connects to tools through MCP. Recipes, Goose hints, and extensions make it easy to shape the assistant around your project, not the other way around. Sub agents can split work front end and back end in parallel, so simple builds get done faster and with less hand holding strength local plus cli focus multiple model flexibility low cost control you choose the providers and the ability to encore your preferences once in goose hints who it's for builders vibe coders who ship tools demos and features often teams that care about editor ci integration and model choice and anyone who wants speed without lock-in. Goose makes AI coding simple and affordable by meeting you where you work. If that matches your flow, try it. Link is in the description. Thanks to Goose for sponsoring this review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments in the comment section. I'm done for now and I will talk to you soon. Ivan KV out.